Hey Mush Fam, thanks for joining us. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to inoculate an all-in-one mushroom grow bag with a liquid culture syringe. We're gonna use a five pound bag, uh, which will use five cc's of the liquid culture. As usual, I've turned off the central AC and any fans that would affect the air in the room that I'm working in. You don't want any uh, mold spores or bacteria floating around uh, where you are, so you give that time to, to settle down. I'm gonna work in front of a flow hood today, which I've also let run for 30 minutes to clean the room uh, as much as possible. You don't have to use a flow hood. You can use a uh, still air box, which you can build one yourself or buy one online. Uh, if you don't wanna go that route, you can always work in a bathroom. Again, you'd wanna turn off central AC and any fans for at least one hour before working and wipe down the countertops really well with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump in here. I've already cleaned my area. Uh, I've wiped down the bag uh, with, again, 70% isopropyl alcohol to make sure anything on it, um, any contamination risk, have been taken care of. Uh, I've also wiped down the syringe uh, with alcohol and the needle. I'm going to use micropore tape to cover the inoculation hole uh, once I am done. You can use any type of tape. Uh, I just have this in front of me. so. Uh, makes things a little bit easier. Packing tape is, is, is just fine. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in here. I'm gonna do one little quick spritz on my hands uh, just to make sure there's nothing sitting on them that could uh, cause some contamination. I'm gonna give one more nice little spray on the injection port. Uh, you wanna make sure that you shake up the syringe really well. Um, as mycelium will clump up if it's left at room temperature which could make it hard to get out of the syringe. Uh, so just mix it up and let's go ahead and do it. Uh, just kind of give you an idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the needle in. I'm gonna angle it uh, this way and put two and a half cc's and I'll move it up to the other side to do another two and a half cc's to give us a total of five. Kind of spread it out a little bit, get to uh, our end goal a little bit faster. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. And take the cap off, screw the needle on right in there and we're gonna do two and a half. Oh, I did three hoops. Uh, I'll go ahead and do two and a half here. All right, gonna put that on there, put the cap back on the needle, get some of our tape. Oh, well, doesn't wanna cooperate with me. There we go. The port is self-healing. Um, but I put tape on it, you know, just to be, just to be as safe as I possibly can. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to label, label it, uh, with the strain that I did and the date, because if I wait two days, I will definitely forget the date that I did it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, about maybe four weeks from now, three or four weeks, depending on the strain, we'll be able to do a break and shake and we'll have some videos, uh, on how to do that in the future. Um, and we are new to these videos, so if you have any feedback, we would really appreciate it. Um, you know, if you like them, that's awesome. Uh, any constructive criticism would be great as well. Uh, check out our website, muchlovin.com. We have some really cool, unique products, as well as we have a Reddit community that we just recently started. Um, kind of help each other out, um, you know, be as successful as we can, you know, help troubleshoot and, and give advice and, and so on. Um, the community is our mush loving, uh, pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to us, uh, mush at mushlovin.com. You can make a comment on the YouTube channel. Uh, we have a chat on our website. Uh, you can contact us on Reddit. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever is your preferred method, uh, many ways to get ahead, uh, ahead of us. Anyways, uh, thanks for uh, joining us today and have a great day.